Hi, I'm Joshua Onsai, 19 years of age. Hi, I'm Harriet Lube. I'm 29 years old. Hi, I'm Sheila Gamo, 45 years old. I'm a first-time voter. A second-year student taking up Bachelor of Arts in English Language at Bicol University. I'm an SEO manager and aspiring lawyer. I am a stage director, actress, writer. There have been a lot of promises, a lot of incompetencies, madaming pinatupad sa past five years, and mas lalong dinagdagan ng pandemic, times 100. I need to practice my right. Kailangan kong iparinig yung boses ko. Kasi hindi ito yung Pilipina kung saan ko gusto tumira. Ang bata-bata mo pa alam mo. Anong alam mo? Let's make it. Ang bata-bata mo pa. So, anong alam mo? What do you know? Let's make that a question to engage in conversation. Personally, I desperately don't want the same kind of uh, people or politicians to occupy the same uh, public offices. Siguro, parang nakakahiya mong sabihin, pero isa sa mga rason ko noon, pag tinatanong ko, boto ka ba? Hindi, bakit? Bakit? Tagbabayad naman ako ng takta. I feel somehow responsible uh, ako sa mga nangyari sa bansa. Hindi mo alam kung sino ang susunod sa yeah, miyembro ng pamilya mo ang magkakaroon ng COVID-19. Uh, natatakot ka mag-Facebook kasi pag Kas mo, parang obituary yung feed mo kasi ang daming mga nag update ng profile picture ng black background in Candila. I had very small faith in our politics. Okay, alam mo naman yung politika sa Pilipinas. Diba, very showbiz. Even if there are really, really good candidates, natatalo sila kasi mas sikat to. Okay, lalo na nung nagkakaroon ng switching of ballots. Diba? May mga dayaan. So sabi ko, what's the point of going there if my vote will just be stolen or replaced? Kung hindi ako nakapag-register, I'm not just going to be missing one election. And the opportunity na mapabilis ang pagbago or mapabilis yung new normal natin. I really want to go back to face-to-face -face classes. I miss going in crowds. I miss my friends. So, ayoko kong forever lang nakamask palagi. <laughs> Imagine this sa uh, uh, data na inilabas ng Comelec. Out of the 54.3 million registered voters noong 2016 election, 44.5 million lang ang actually nag-cast ng boto. Malaking difference yung 10 million na boto na yun. Hindi pa kasama dun yung mga katulad ko na pwede naman pala magparehistro pero hindi ninais magparehistro. And uh, I feel responsible kasi hindi enough na mag-share ka lang ng post sa social media. Kailangan maikas mo siya sa boto. I think namulat na yung mata ng mga tao ngayon. And nakita ng mga hindi bumoto before, like me, na mukhang kailangan natin magsama-sama and i-voice out kung ano talaga yung sa palagay natin ay dapat. Okay, it's not enough to criticize the government now. It's time to uh, let our voice be heard. In a way, I agree. Because you you chose not to take part in the decision-making. I've been guilty of that by not voting because I didn't see anyone who I can trust enough to write their name in the ballot before. I disagree. Uh, I'm a taxpayer too. Hence, my legal standing pa rin ako if I decided na mag-file ako ng complaint against sa mga feeling ko na katiwalaan na na nangyayari sa gobyerno. Parte ng paging mabuting mamamayan ang maghangad ng mabuting bansa. Parte ng mabuting mamamayan ang makialam at magbigay ng opinion at puro-puro tungkol sa mga nangyayari sa bansa niya. I disagree because we live in a democratic country and the freedom of expression is enshrined in our constitution. Also, you cannot expect people to just support a leader, especially if such leader tolerate or enable corruption in the government or worse, the culture of impunity. Well, I believe in freedom of speech. Sometimes people criticize to attack without actually giving a solution. You criticize to help fix a problem. You don't criticize to bring somebody down. Kasi pag binab, binagsak mo yung leader mo, hindi mo siya tinulungan, sabay-sabay tayong babagsak. Sa mga keyboard warriors na matatapang on social media, unang wala sa lahat, saan kayo kumukuha ng time? <laughs> Sana yung tinakatak mo sa pag-comment, tinakatak mo na lang sa pag-research. It's uh, very toxic for me because I get pressured. Parang instantly, you have to make a decision na, oh, ito ang kampo ko, ito ang kampo niya. And then they start fighting, which becomes toxic. I don't have to complain for anyone, okay? I think my job is just to vote. 
50-50. Kasi social media is what we make of it. We can actually engage in political discussions without being too toxic. If you don't like this certain post, skip mo na lang because you can't control everyone's opinions. I disagree. It only means na may pakialam ka. Kaya lang ka magiging comfortable pag-usapan yung mga ganong topic kapag sa'yo na nangyari. Hindi ako nagko-convince ng mga tao to change their vote, to go with my vote. Because I want people to discover on their own. Pero, that being said, ayaw ko rin naman na masayang yung vote nila. Nag-share ako ng mga facts. And sa tingin ko, makakatulong sa tao na supportahan ko. Agree. <laughs> Oh, kasi nga, kanya-kanya tayo ng opinion. Kanya-kanya tayo ng reason kung bakit tayo bumaboto. Kanya-kanya rin tayo ng uh, ideal candidate. So, let's respect that. That's the spirit of democracy. Kaya nga tayo nagbobotohan eh. Uh, I disagree. Bakit mo naman re-respoto niya ang isang opinion na base sa maling informasyon? Para sa akin, you cannot just blindly support a candidate when it comes to our next leader. We have to be critical. We have to do our research. bullying of those who speak up and want to be heard. The government has to be able to listen to everyone, hindi lang sa kung sino yung gusto nilang marinig. Uh, one thing I want to stop with the new administration is the apathy. Kung wala kang pakialam sa iyong nasasakupan, madali para sa iyo na magpawalang bahala. Kung wala kang pakialam sa kanilang mga karapatan, madali para sa iyo na mangkusga ng walang due process. I want the blame game to stop. Kulang na kulang ang gobyerno natin ngayon sa kanto. So I'll just Siya, 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 siya. Hindi ako siya. Sa mga nakaupo dyan, sa pwesto, huwag kayong magsisihan. Ha? <laughs> What I want to continue are the improvements that they did. Hindi naman lahat pangit ang ginawa ng government natin. Continue that. Things that will improve the lives of the people. Na hindi kailangan mangutang ng malaki sa ibang bansa. <laughs> Yun lang. I hope that the next president will continue the strictness. The past six years, we have developed this obedience because of fear. Although it's not the best way, pero napasunod natin yung mga tao. I hope na yung mga, yung perfume, yung pag regular checkpoints. I hope ma-continue siya. But, accompanied yung mga nasa checkpoints, yung mga nag-implement ng curfew, yung mga law enforcers natin should be, of course, very, should have integrity with them. Bakit kailangan mag-instill ng fear? Fear, that's unnecessary. Kasi yung tao, takot na nga mismo yan na magkaroon ng COVID-19 eh. Then, bakit kailangan nilang lumabas, di ba? Marami sa mga yan na arawan na kailangan nilang pumunta sa trabaho, that means pagkain ng kanilang pamilya. So, hindi mo masasisi yung tao. Kailangan may proper coordination between the private sector and the government. Filipinos have a tendency to be ano eh, lenient when it comes to discipline. Yes, we need strict leaders, we, we need strict rules, pero within the laws of human rights. Not to the point na, pag hindi ka sumunod, babarilin kita. <laughs> Alam mo yan. ideal candidate to is to someone who genuinely cares for the people. Someone, yung leader na alam mo yun, na hindi niya tinitingnan yung position niya as nasa pedestal. Someone na alam kung ano yung presyo ng mga bilihin. Over 2020, we have seen what empathy can be. We have seen many people open up community pantries para makatulong sa mga kapwa nila. That's also part of my ideal candidate. Kung alam niya yung nararamdaman ng ibang tao. I think a leader should be more professional, uh, speaking-wise. Yung as a president, there has to be an understanding also that you are not just relating to the Filipinos. Whatever you say will also reflect to the world. As exceptional leadership skills, someone na progressive-minded and independent-minded. Someone na hindi madaling ma-influensyahan. They take their job seriously. You applied for this job, be there. Credible. Kasi some candidates, they go for a position, tapos hindi nila alam yung gagawin nila, they're just there. Importante pa rin yung nakapag-aral, alam yung mga batas ng Pilipinas, so they don't break it or bend it when they're there. And syempre, walang kaso. Respected. As much as possible, walang bahid ng kontrobersya. Napakalaga pa rin ito when it comes to reading a government, di ba? Of course, we have to think of strategies to solve the problems of the country. Dagdag challenge na yun tong pandemic. So, this is also very important. Which is also dapat accompanied nito ng puso. I mean, it's not enough na puro ito, it's not enough na puro ito. They have to go hand in hand. Parang lablay lang yan. <laughs> 
being a president is not just a job that you get paid for. Being a president affects the lives of all the Filipinos, not just in the Philippines, but all over the world. Do your job and do it well, with dignity and with love for country. Please be honest. You are going to be part of history. How do you want to be remembered? Makinig kayo. And when I say makinig, listen to three voices. Listen to the mass. Makinig ka sa taong bayan. Second voice you should listen to, makinig ka sa mga eksperto. Given that we were in a pandemic, ang pinaka-importante ang pakinggan sana dapat the medical experts. And last but not the least, listen to your call. You were put there for a reason. You are literally in a position where you can make change. Congratulations and good luck. Uh, sana patunayin mo na karapat-dapat ka maging presidente ng ating bansa. Kasi kung hindi, sisiguraduhin namin na mananagot ka. Sovereignty resides in the people and all government uh, authority emanates from them. Ano ibig sabihin nun? Tayo, tayo mga Pilipino. Tayo talaga ang may kapangyarihan, uh, tayo yung ang may boses. Yung isang boto mo na yun, yun yung boses mo. 